Lolita 1962. James Mason plays Professor Humbert Humbert, who while waiting to begin a teaching post in the United States rents a room from Blowsy Silly Winters. Winters immediately falls for the worldly Humbert, but he only has eye for his landlady's nubile daughter Lolita. The professor goes so far as to marry Winter so that he can remain near to the object of his ardor. Turning up like a bad penny at every opportunity is mommy TV writer Kilty, who seems inordinately interested in Humbert's behavior. Viajo's celebrity presents 10 movies like Lolita. Number 10. Seduction 1973 Giuseppe commits to love a woman he hasn't seen in 15 years amid dangers of seduction from her daughter. After returning to Catania after a long period of time, Giuseppe reunites with his old lover Katrina. Her 18-year-old daughter Graziella begins to seduce her mother's lover and he soon breaks down and begins an affair with her. As time passes, Katrina begins having sneaking suspicions about Giuseppe's and Graziella's relationship. Onella Mutti was the first choice of producer Armando Novelli for the part of Graziella. Number 9. Flora, 1979 Sculptor Paul meets a former great love again after a long time, but is much more impressed by her 18-year-old daughter. Laura who looks like her mother when Paul was in love with her. Laura likes him very much too, but her jealous mother prevents any further contact. She allows him to make a sculpture of Laura but only from photos. This movie and 1981's tattoo represented two of few significant lead roles in cinema movies for actress Maud Adams outside of the James Bond film franchise. Adam was a born girl in both Octopussy and The Man with the Golden Gun. Number 8. Billy Tis, 1977 a teenage schoolgirl spent the summer with a couple whose marriage is on the rocks and develop a crush on the wife. Meanwhile, she pursues a local teenage boy and try to find a suitable male lover for the wife. Although Billities can be best described as a coming-of-age film, the title character Billities end up returning to school at the end of the film, realizing that she is not yet ready for adulthood. The film was shot in the same soft focus style that was common of David Hamilton's photography and his other films. In 1977, Hamilton released a photo book, Billities, which included the most memorable image from the film. Number 7. Sweet Deceptions 1960 Francesca, a 18-year-old schoolgirl, has a vivid dream of making love to Enrico, a 37-year-old divorce architect and family friend. She turns her dream into reality by meeting Enrico during a regular school day. Catherine Sparks' first leading role. She got her big break when her uncredited brief appearance in 1960's The Hall caught the eye of a Paris TV reporter. Sophia Loren happened to see the reporter's interview with the Catherine on TV. She immediately thought she looked perfect as Francesca in this film, which was being cast by her producer husband Carlo Ponti. Number 6. Little Lips, 1978 A writer returned home from World War I. He has developed a very bad case of post-traumatic stress disorder. He contemplates suicide but becomes interested in needs of the innkeeper. At the place where he is recuperating, he doesn't seem to mind that he is spending so much time with her. He becomes deeply infatuated with her but can't physically consummate any kind of relationship with her. She brightens his day, but her love appeal is just beginning to bud. When she begins to prefer a male closer to her age than the writer, the finality of the plot is set. Number 5. Pretty Baby, 1978 In 1917, in the Red Light District Storyville, New Orleans, the prostitute Hattie lives with her daughter Violet in the fancy brothel of Madame Nell, where she works. Photographer Ernst Belloc has an attraction to Hattie and Violet, and he is in habitual of the whole house. 
One day, Madame Nell auctioned Violet's virginity and the winner paid the fortune of $400 to spend the night with the girl. Then Hattie marries a wealthy client and moves to St. Louis, leaving Violet in the brothel alone. Violet decides to marry Bellhawk and she moves to his house. Until the day that Hattie, who has overcome her past, comes to Bellhawk's house with the intention to take Violet with her. Number 4. Don't Deliver Us From Evil 1971 Anne and Lor, neighbors and best friends, barely into their teens. Bored at a convent school where they have taken a vow to sin and to serve Satan. Anne keeps a secret diary, they read a salacious novel. They get a classmate in trouble, they spy on the nuns, they set aside their communion wafers, they make a pact of devotion. Summer vacation starts, Anne's parents leave her alone with the servant for two months at the family chateau. She and Lord are free to make mischief. They are cruel as well and play games of seduction. As summer ends and fall term begins, things come to a head. Number 3. Butterfly 1981 Set in the year 1937 in a small Nevada desert mining town, Jess Taylor is a hermit who works in a disused silver mine as the caretaker. His wife deserted him 10 years earlier, and his teenage daughter Katie ran off and gave birth to the illegitimate child of a rich man named Wos Gillespie who refused to marry her. Wos's father owns the mine, so Katie decided its riches should belong to her. She returned home and tried to persuade Jess to let her have it going to any length, including the seduction of her own father. Death and mystery ensue, leading to a climatic trial presided over by Judge Roach. To decide the fate of the scandalous caddy when rumors of improper relations with Jess circulate around town. Number 2. Buffet 1981 Remy is morose, nearing 30 with his career as a musician going nowhere and his eight-year marriage to Martin soaring. Then Martin dies in a car crash and Marion, her 18-year-old, wants to stay rather than move to her father's. Remy likes the idea, he loves her, he raises her, and she offers him emotional responsibility. Marion's father objects, but she is willful, so he relents. Soon she tells Remy she finds him attractive that she is now a woman. And why can't they be lovers? Remy is appalled but weakens, missing her when she spent Christmas with her dad. What if they do become lovers? What next? And what if a woman more his age enter the picture? Number 1. Lolita, 1997 In early adolescence, Humbert fell hopelessly and tragically in love with a girl his own age. And as he grew into adulthood, he never lost his obsession with nymphads. Teenager who walk a fine line between being a girl and a woman. While looking for a place to live after securing a new teaching position, he meets Charlotte Hayes, a pretentious and annoying woman who seems desperately lonely and is obviously attracted to Humbert. Humbert pays her little mind until he meets her daughter Lolita. The image of the girl that Humbert once loved. Humbert moves into the Hayes home as a boarder and eventually marries Charlotte in order to be closer to Lolita. When Charlotte finds out about Humbert's attraction to her daughter, she flees the house in a rage only to be killed in auto accident. <laughs>